Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have a review on the Self Tanner. Um, it is Sun Labs and I'm going to talk about them a little bit. Um, you guys have been wanting me to do a review and here it goes and I'm also going to have pictures at the end of the video. Um, you will be seeing one of my friends, well my good friend Sarah. I applied it on her body um, for one night so we took a before and after picture. And then we also did one for me that night just for a little fun. So I'm going to post that and then I'm going to post a photo um, from when I first started to now. So I'm going to jump right into it. Um, these are the Sunlab products. You can tell I've used a lot of this one. This is my favorite one. But um, I'm going to talk about it. So I purchased mine from Amazon and I'm going to leave those links down below. Um, they are really cheap on Amazon. I got this one for like three bucks and I think this one for 16 do not know but I, again I will post the links down below um, if you go to the Sunlab website you can get the lotion exfoliator and maintaining um, lotion for all $40 um, that might be a little pricey and a little more expensive than what you're looking for but again always Amazon people so um, I'm looking at my notes that I write down um, the good thing about these products is that they smell unbelievable. They smell like not like a self tanner at all. This one smells more like flowers and this one smells like mint. You can't really get much better than that. I hate the smell of tanners. I hate when you're putting it on and you just smell like you reek of like a horrid smell and you can kind of tell it's a self tanner. So with this one it turns out dark on your skin. Um, yeah, it's a little messy. But when you open it, this can be a little intimidating for some people. But I got mine in dark. They have three shades, and it's medium, dark, and uh, very dark, or ultra dark. I'm not very sure. But they have three shades, and this one is in dark, and it looks like that. They have, like, a green-tinted, like color to them. Don't let that scare you because these products are not tested on animals, they don't smell like regular self tanner, and you, they will turn brown on your skin. They do not make you look orange or anything like that and it smells freaking amazing. I'm going to talk about how I apply my my tanner, but if you guys want a video on how I apply it, let me know. Let me know down below. So what I do first is I take a shower and you get your body like all wet and stuff and you apply this exfoliator on your body you can use a washcloth use a loofah whatever you gotta do and work it into your skin because it's gonna get rid of all your dead cells and your dry skin so that's really important because self tanner and dry skin don't mix It'll, they will show up all different colors on your skin so you're gonna exfoliate your whole body even your face get your face especially if you have dry skin um, I have dry skin and I scrub the crap out of my face just to get all that dead nastiness off. You're going to exfoliate and then after you're done get out of the shower, dry your body off. You want to make sure your body is completely dry. Then what you're going to do, um, if you order off the Sun Labs website you can get a mitt to apply this. Um, I did not purchase a mitt and if you guys haven't noticed I did not purchase the um, maintaining lotion. I think I already told you that guys but just so you guys know I did not order that. Um, yeah so and I also did not order a mint saying mint, a mitt, M-I-T-T, -T. yeah, so what I do is after I get out of the shower and dry my body off, I take this and I apply it, like I just squirt it, like on my arm or something or wherever you want to apply it, you squirt it on your body and you want to work fast because it is, um, it dries really, really fast, so you're going to have to like work, work, work. When I first started applying this, what I did was after I applied it to one section, I would wash my hands instantly. But as the week went on, I got really lazy. So what I did was work it all through every single part and I washed my hands at the end. Now when you're done and you want to wash your hands, what I do is I take a washcloth. And this one doesn't really have ridges in it. But if you can find a washcloth that has ridges like on the end, that's going to help you out tremendously. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab a washcloth, get half of it wet, and then you can put any um, like hand wash or soap or anything like that. This was in my bathroom so this is what I grabbed. Um, you're going to squirt it on there and then it's going to sound really weird but you need to do it. 
you can apply toothpaste also onto the washcloth. So you're going to apply uh, soap and toothpaste onto that damp part of your washcloth and then you're going to start taking your hands, whether it be one or two, and work it into your washcloth. Scrub, 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 scrub. And then you're going to wash your hands underneath the water and just keep doing it until it's completely gone. And then rinse it under the water again. <laughs> and then you're gonna take the other half of your washcloth and dry it and the thing is if you can get one with ridges that would be awesome because then you have that extra texture to like wipe it off that is how I apply it they say that it's still kind of wet after you apply it so if you find that your self tanner is still wet on your body you can easily just take a blow dryer and turn it on cool and just go over your body it's supposed to dry really fast it dries really fast on me I've never had to use a um, a blow dryer but yeah you can put your clothes on I would give it at least like 10 minutes afterwards and then if you want to apply it on your face um, I apply two coats on my face and only one coat on my body because this gets pale fast my face and my hands are gonna get paler because you're gonna be scrubbing those areas a lot more than your body I know that sounds really gross but like you do wash your body every day but you're gonna be scrubbing your face more to get all that makeup and dirt off your face since I did not by the maintaining lotion. Um, I looked it up on how to use it. What you want to do is after you apply your self tanner, go to bed. And it's going to be really weird just lying there with self tanner on, but when you wake up in the morning, you're going to be tan. I was amazed, like, because I was pale one night, went to, went to bed after applying that, woke up, and I looked so dark. Like, I was just like, oh, well, this is awesome. But then you're going to wake up and you're going to apply that maintaining tanner on. And what that's going to do, it's going to keep it on longer than normal. I did not buy that, but without the maintaining lotion, it stayed on my body for a week. I don't know if I told you guys that already, but I'm saying it again. It stayed on my body for at least a week. And then it stayed on my face for at least just like three to four days. It didn't stay on that long, so then I had to keep applying it on my face more than my body. Maintaining lotion. I think it's very important. I just didn't have the money at the time to buy it. But it keeps your tan on longer, at least for two weeks. Um, so I've heard. Um, I can't really tell you from experience, but if you watch any other sun lab review, they tell you it stays on longer if you use that, obviously. So, I wanted to tell you guys some moisturizers that you can put on your body because after I get out of the shower from this exfoliator, I always moisturize my body before putting on that self-tanner. So, the one that I recently bought was that cocoa butter. I love cocoa butter so much because I feel like it's so natural and it has Vaseline in it and vitamin E, petroleum jelly, all that stuff. Well, at least this one does. If not, if you don't like that one, I bought that um, moisturizer from Hawaiian Tropic. This one smells amazing. It smells like lime. Just apply any moisturizer or lotion that you have. The more moisturized, the better. Because if you're in dry in certain areas, it's going to catch on to that. Just like if your lips were chapped or dry. If you don't use chapstick or anything and then you put lipstick on, you all know what's going to happen. That lipstick's going to like attached to that dry skin it's just not going to look attractive so it's pretty much the same thing if you have dry skin and put self tanner on it's not going to look that great you need to have moisturized skin that's the most key part exfoliate moisturize self tanner and then your maintaining lotion if you want to add that i'm not going to enforce that you have to but it might be a good investment so if you guys have any other questions let me know just comment below i will feel free and more than happy to answer them for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.